I'm not allowed to watch this. Do I have to be American? Hold on, let me, let me think about America. America is the greatest country of all time. Please let me in and watch this video. Please, Donald Trump. But this is the News 4 Rundown. The outcome of this election is not what we wanted, not what we fought for, not what we voted for, but hear me when I say, hear me when I say, the light of America's promise will always burn bright. Vice President Kamala Harris conceding tonight in front of a crowd of supporters at her alma mater, Howard University in D.C. Thanks for joining us for the News 4 Rundown. Hmm? I'm Leon Harris. I'm Jim Antley. It's Wednesday, November 6th, and the White House will soon have a new occupant or more like a returning one. Interesting. While results are still coming in tonight, former President Donald Which Trump... Which is at the end, though. Hear me when I say... Right, I'll go to your last link here. This is your last link here. So let me say, my heart is full today. My heart is full today. Full of gratitude for the trust you have placed in me. Full of love for our country. And full of resolve. The outcome of this election is not what we wanted. Not what we fought for. Not what we voted for. But hear me when I say. Hear me when I say. The light of America's promise will always burn bright as long as we never give up and as long as we keep fighting did you see the avengers did that for Kamala? to my beloved Doug Destiny and our and her family son's years, i love long you so very have much actually had an impact on the future of the entire planet Who am I? To President Biden and Dr. Biden, thank you for your faith and support. You. Looking to, you today, to Governor Mr. Walls and the Walls family, I know your service to our nation will continue. And to my extraordinary team, to the volunteers who gave so much of themselves, to the poll workers and the local election officials, I thank you. I thank you all. Look, I am so proud of the race we ran and the way we ran it. And the way we ran it. Over the 107 days of this campaign, we have been intentional about building community and building coalitions bringing people together from every walk Chat. of life uh, and okay. background, united by love of country with enthusiasm go next, and joy in our fight for America's future. And we did it with the knowledge that we all have so much more in common than what separates us. Now I know Folks are feeling and experiencing a range of emotions right now. I get it. <laughs> but we must accept the results of this election. Earlier today, I spoke with President-elect Trump and congratulated him on his victory. I also told him that we will help him and his team with their transition and that we will engage in a peaceful transfer of power. Oh, man. That's what it is, what it is. I mean... A fundamental principle of American democracy... Is you say classy, but the classy thing is to do it, not to say it as a backhand, as a backhand thing. It's, hey, listen, it is, it is what it is. If you, can't, if you can't understand and read through code, it is what it is. ...is that when we lose an election, we accept the results. That principle, as much as any other... The right thing is to do, not to say. It does, like, your, 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 your brain did it. You are brain dead. It, it is an evidence. It is a normal thing. It is the common thing you should do to do that, right? They're only saying that as like, oh, we're going to do that because last time Trump didn't do it. And it's like a, it's like a back jab. Brother, 
when it, when you're losing and you're jabbing up, you, you don't you don't look good. It, it looks good to you because you're not you can't read you can't listen. You're not translating what is Other. being said. You're just you're a bot. Distinguishes. Chat is still full of drones. You're a drone. Or tyranny. And anyone who seeks the public trust must honor it. At the same time, in our nation, we owe loyalty not to a president or a party, but to the Constitution of the United States. And loyalty to our conscience and to our God. My allegiance to all three is why I am here to say while I concede this election, I do not concede the fight that fueled this campaign. The fight, the fight for freedom, for opportunity, for fairness, and the dignity of all people. A fight for the ideals at the heart of our nation the ideals that reflect America at our best. That is a fight I will never give up. I will never give up the fight for a future where Americans can pursue their dreams, ambitions, and aspirations, where the women of America have the freedom to make decisions about their own body and not have their government telling them what to do. We will never give up the fight to protect our schools and our streets from gun violence. And America, we will never give up the fight for our democracy, for the rule of law, for equal justice, and for the sacred idea that every one of us, no matter who we are or where we start out, has certain fundamental rights and freedoms that must be respected and upheld. Mm. And we will continue to wage this fight in the voting booth, in the courts, and in the public square. And we will also wage it in quieter ways, in how we live our lives, by treating one another with kindness and respect, by looking in the face of a stranger and seeing a neighbor, by always using our strength to lift people up, to fight for the dignity that all people deserve. The fight for our freedom will take hard work, but like I always say, we like hard work. Hard work is good work. Hard work can be joyful work. And the fight for our country is always worth it. It is always worth it. To the young people who are watching, it is. I love you. Honey. To the young people who are watching, it is okay to feel sad and disappointed, but please know it's going to be okay. On the campaign, I would often say, when we fight, we win. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Sometimes the fight takes a while. I literally said to Jack that, that the youth was right leaning, and I'm I'm pretty sure that they lost the, the young vote by like seven percent or something like that. It's just that massive. Mean it's we massive. Won't win. That doesn't mean we won't win. The important thing is don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. Don't ever stop trying to make the world a better place. You have power. You have power. And don't you ever listen. You say the youth equal, equals men, right? But the youth, brother, 
I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure girls vote more than men. Uh, probably even more young women than, uh, than young men. True or false? When anyone tells you something is impossible because it has never been done before. You have the capacity. So if that is true, then I'm, I, I was even more right when I said that young men are, are going right at, at crazy rates. Because these stats would not add up otherwise. If, if women vote more than men and they lost the young vote by a big margin, that means that, that, means that, girls, that, means that girls had to vote a lot more blue and men, young men, had to vote a fuck ton more red. That's, that's what it means. Otherwise, it, that is the, oh, that's the only way that these stats the make sense. And so to everyone who is watching, do not despair. This is not a time to throw up our hands. This is a time to roll up our sleeves. This is a time to organize, to mobilize, and to stay engaged for the sake of freedom and justice and the future that we all know we can build together. Look, many of you know I started out as a prosecutor and throughout my career I saw people at some of the worst times in their lives. People who had suffered great harm and great pain and yet found within themselves the strength and the courage and the resolve to take the stand to take a stand to fight <sighs> for justice, to fight for themselves, 85? to fight for others. So let their courage be our inspiration. Let their determination be our charge. And I'll close with this. There's an adage and historian once called a law of history true of every society across the ages. The adage is, only when it is dark enough can you see the stars. I know many people feel like we are entering a dark time, but for the benefit of us all, I hope that is not the case. Bro, but here entering in America, if it is, let us fill the sky with the light of a brilliant, brilliant billion of stars. The light, the light of optimism, of faith, of truth, and service. Chat, these polls are, guys, I, I, like I said, say, chat, these polls are fucking dog shit. You wanna know why? Men 18 to 29, dude, what kind of fucking bracket is that, man? What kind, what kind of fucking bracket is this? It, it's, way, it's way too fat. It's way too fat. Because, guys, guys, pe pe guys, young men that are influenceable, the, it varies a lot on how much they can be influenced, right? Whether you're 18 or 29. The, the variation is gigantic. It should, they should be split in half, if not split into three. That's why, that, you know, I'm right about this, I'm gonna fuck. H U. <laughs> and may that work guide us, even in the face of setbacks, toward the extraordinary promise of the United States of America. I thank you. Huh? I don't think she said that, did she? What? Thank you all, may God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. I thank you all. Here's the thing. I don't know when. So when? Did you? <laughs> what did you mean? Did you mean at your? And may that work guide us, even in the face of setbacks, 
toward the extraordinary promise of the United States of America. I thank you all. May God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. I thank you. H you. Oh yeah, because because Adzer would mean sends. It means like like to God or whatever. I, I, there's no translation for it, but it's like a it's like a send off that's like God related. But I guess it's not. It's not what she said. What is the question mark? Yeah, it's a farewell. That's like um, you know. Yeah.